the the main talking point of this video although i always go off on a tangent what would you rather pick yeah so everyone answer this question right now if you're locked in yeah just write just write what you want yeah pick what you want yeah right now what would you rather pick yeah two million in one lump sum yeah you get two million pounds in one go yeah? and that's it yeah? or you get 10 grand a month every month on the 30th or the 28th yeah or the 29th yeah? depending on if it's february in a leap here yeah the last day of every month yeah 10 grand in your bank account for the rest of your life yeah what would you rather pick would you rather pick two million in one go or 10 grand in your account every month for the rest of your life yeah let's see what you lot pick all right all right guys so obviously when i answer i ain't here to make no one look silly or whatever in it yeah everyone's entitled to their opinion yeah i'll tell you my opinion and just wait i'll wait one more minute yeah all right as you know guests yeah the two mil obviously yeah but it might not be for the reason you joke 20 20 minutes it might not be for the reason that you think yeah? now obviously i'm sure the title of this live stream is yeah the comfort zone is the danger zone isn't it? Yeah. now i would assume that anyone who picks 10 grand a month for a lifetime right they're doing it because they want that comfort zone they want they want they want that safety net they want to know that whatever they do right however even if they're solely investing that 10 grand yeah and they're not being super with it obviously you need to buy shopping and that yeah but even if their plan is to solely invest that 10 grand right they're doing it so that every time they mess up yeah every time they could possibly mess up they always know okay i've got another 10 grand so you know i can take this chance or whatever it yeah but me personally i will take the two million yeah i don't need a comfort zone yeah i don't need a safety net yeah i need to have a lump sum of money right then and there so that i can invest it yeah in property so what i would do is if i had two million yeah uh i probably would buy i'd buy however much, however many properties but i'd leave myself with probably i don't know 250 grand in cash let's say in it yeah and yeah so the other 1.75 million that will go into property and then the 250 grand in cash i will invest that in some kind of business or whatever in it. i don't know what business i would invest in right now in it, yeah? like short term i'd like i'm gonna invest in cars and buy and sell cars and you know but if I've got 250 grand, I'll be thinking of something much bigger than that. Yeah. But the reason why most people will pick 10 grand is because they want that safety net. They want to know that whatever they do, no matter how much money they spend, no matter how silly they are with their money, they will always have a safety net. And you are not really going to get anywhere in life if you're always relying on a safety net. Yeah? the only way to prosper and to succeed is to be thrown in the deep end yeah? to not have a safety net i told someone previously before i was going to resign from work i said to them that yeah i'm going to resign from work yeah and that's it yeah i'm leaving harringay council that's it done with harringay council yeah? they said to they said to me oh why don't you um, take sabbatical leave. If you don't know what sabbatical leave is, it's like where you take a six months off, or you take a year back, and you still have your job position at your particular workplace. So for me to take sabbatical leave from home to Harringay means I take six months off or a year off, and no matter what happens, I still have a job. I told them no, because in that six months or in that one year, I will fail and I'll go straight back to my job. I need to put myself in a position where there's no safety net. There's no mum and dad to run back to. Yeah? There's no older sister to fall back on. Yeah? Because you're never ever going to step out of your comfort zone. Right? You're never ever... Mm, 
you're never ever going to put yourself in a position where you really need to fend for yourself and you really need to be serious because you know there's always a safety net to fall back on. Right? Imagine you, your parents are billionaires or millionaires, right? You're never ever going to really learn anything. Yeah, you can go out there, yeah, start this little business, start this little thing here and there. But you know, no matter what happens, if I fail, I've always got mum and dad. And what will happen is they will fail and they will just go back to living a comfortable lifestyle. Yeah, They always have that safety net. So me personally, if I had the choice between two mil on the spot or 10K, I'll pick the two mil. Yeah. I want all the money right now. Not to be a greedy motherfucker, yeah? But I don't need to wait for 10 grand every month. 10 grand every month. 10 grand every month. Yeah, because you, 10 grand itself, you can invest in that, but you can't invest that much in 10 grand, right? Now, yeah, you're going to get 10 grand every month, but well, how long will you going to sit there for what? Three years and just collect the 10 grand, collect the 10 grand, collect the 10 grand until it mounts up to what? Fucking 300 and... Uh, 320,000 over a 10 year period. No, you want all the money right now. Yeah, you want the 2 million right now. If you're a really serious business person, you want all the money right now so that you can invest it in properties or some kind of business, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone who wants 10K a month, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's probably not because they want to invest their money. It's probably because they just want a safety net.